Welcome back into Brightside. We are your hurricane headquarters as always this morning. We are still watching Iota down there in Central America, a devastating site there after the storm made landfall on Monday night as a category four hurricane on the east coast of Nicaragua. Take a look at your screens here. The Colombian government says roughly 98% of the infrastructure on the island of Providencia, just off of Nicaragua, was destroyed by Iota, a very popular tourist destination there. At least two people are dead. They expect that number to go up. Countless homes have been lost. The storm was so strong, it was felt 500 miles away on the Colombian mainland. That's well into South America, Grant. This a very strong late season storm. So think about it. So wind speeds were at 155 miles per hour when it made landfall. That's a strong EF3 tornado, except it's a hurricane. So it's, it's much larger, obviously, than an EF3 tornado. Uh, the system's been weakening as it moves across Central America, now moving into El Salvador as now a tropical depression. So the system weakening, but even though it's weakening, it's been bringing Central America very, very heavy rainfall. It'll move actually into the Pacific Ocean later on this afternoon, but at that point, a remnant low pressure system, and it's not expected to redevelop. But we may have something else develop, though it's looking less likely. An area of low pressure will uh, may develop in the extreme southwestern uh, Caribbean. There is actually there's Iota over Central America right now, but another area of low pressure could develop right now. Only a 30 percent chance that that system becomes a tropical cyclone, that being a depression or a tropical storm over the next five days. We're also watching another area in between the Bahamas and Bermuda that may develop on the south side of a high pressure system. Uh, it's looking unlikely at this point, but a, a few forecast models are suggesting that a non tropical low pressure system develops and then from that a subtropical system may develop right now only a 20% chance that, that actually happens if it does. All forecast models take it away from the United States and track it to the north and east, which is generally what we expect for systems to do this time of the year. We have this this large scale counterclockwise circulation that typically spawns tropical systems in the Western Caribbean, and then we see them develop as they track to the north and east. So at this point, that's what we would expect, but still it's, it's 2020 and we've got to keep a close eye on things.